Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on hiding some of our yarn ends. So first you're going to need a darning needle and some scissors. And then of course, whatever you're working on that you have to hide yarn ends. So you thread your needle. And then I always put my fingers through to where I'm working so that I make sure I'm not going through to the front. Now I'm just going to pick up some of these back loops, pull through, and then I'm going to go, see how my working yarn is coming out here? I'm going to go behind it and then past it. And I'm going to do that again and again until I run out of yarn. Now the reason I'm going behind it and then past it is that locks your yarn in place. So that way you don't have to do any knots and your, your item will lay flat and not have a bump from where knot is. Once you're done with the yarn, you cut it close and there you go guys. That's how you hide a yarn end. So <clears throat> if you found that helpful at all, please hit the like and subscribe and if uh, you want to let me know where you're watching from. I find it fascinating to find out how far of a reach my videos get. So just leave a comment. Tell me where you're watching from. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.